What's up, everybody? Today we talking about politics. We talking about politics again. Who taught you to hate the texture of your hair? Who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleak to get like the white man? Who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet? Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. Sometimes I ride one deep Think about this hating that's going on Try to take me off of my game Don't want me to make it with these songs Even though my boss man tripping When I be talking about this rapping Keep making jokes on the side Keep backing like it can't happen It don't matter See I'ma make it even against Last time I did a video on this I was talking about uh, The Make America Great Again thing You know um, You know with uh, Donald Trump You know with this Make America Great thing uh, young, I was listening to an interview Young Jeezy did He said oh, that sound like a Burger King commercial Let's make America great again To me it sound like it could be a Budweiser commercial I could see like during the summertime Let's make America great again Budweiser You know that's just my idea man But um, but really though what I'm talking about today is man With the two candidates that we have Should you vote If you don't believe in either one of the candidates and the reason um, I asked this question is because um, about a year ago I did a, a question on Facebook and I was asking the people, I was saying, um, I was looking at a lot of people saying negative comments about our mayor here in Mobile, Alabama. And I was like, man, look, if y'all didn't vote, this, um, you don't really have nothing to say. This is who y'all voted for. Y'all wanted this man. So now he ain't pay, he's not paying it out for what um, y'all thought he could be or things he are doing or things he's not doing. And um, I said, you know, you should have went out and voted. But then somebody hit me with this. They said, I don't want to go out and vote because I don't believe in now one of them. I don't believe in either one of the candidates. And then, you know, that, that made me think. I never really thought about it like that. I said, well, you kind of got a point. You don't believe in candidate A. You don't believe in candidate B. But, you know, if, if that is the case, don't let it be a personal issue that's keeping you from voting for a certain candidate. You know, because... Just because some maybe didn't go your way, one one person was like, you know, they they didn't want the 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 other mayor because uh you know they got stopped in roadblocks or maybe got a ticket or or, or something something might have happened like that. You know, I don't care who the mayor is. If you get stopped by the police and you don't have your license, you don't have insurance, you don't have a tag on your car, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get a ticket. I don't care who the mayor is. You know, you know, it, it really came about. Um, they was talking about you know how the roadblocks, but. You know, just have your stuff in order. That, that's how I feel about that. And um, but I also look at it like this: if you don't believe in neither one of the candidates, look at it like this: who I don't want to be in the White House, who I don't want to be the mayor, who I don't want to be the governor. If you that into it, you know, saying that uh, I didn't vote because this person not good. Well, look at what you got because I mean. I'm not crazy about neither one of the candidates either, and um, and don't just vote because I'm Democrat, I'm Republican. That's the only way I'm gonna vote because at one point it would like eight people out of the eight candidates like a year or so ago, or whoever was left. I was like I wasn't sure about who to vote for. I'm still not sure, man, but I, I know who I don't want to be in there. But at one point I was looking at Ben Carson. I was like, okay, he seemed like a pretty pretty cool dude, you know, and he was a Republican. But then as time went on, I was like, I don't know, man. This man don't seem right, you know. He may be a good surgeon, but to run this country, I, I don't know, you know. So, you know, I, I thought about it. I thought about um, voting, you know, Republican just because I thought he may have been a better candidate, you know, as, as a whole. Not just saying I'm just strictly going to vote for Democrat. You know, you want to see who is the best candidate as a whole. So, who should y'all vote if y'all don't um Believe in under the candidates, like I said, man. Look at who you do not want to run the country. Look at who you do not want to run your city. Maybe you can make your decision like that. Let's say you might be a person say, "Oh no, ain't no way Hillary gonna run this country. Or, ain't no way Donald Trump gonna run this country." So, you know, look at it like that. If you can't decide who you want to vote for because you think they are a good candidate, look at your choices and choose from the people that you don't want. To uh, run this, run the country. So choose from the process of elimination. Say, man, I don't want this person to run the country. Oh hell no. So you take that person out the equation and see what you have left. I mean, somebody gonna win anyway. So you might as well just vote. Somebody gonna win. Somebody gonna lose. 
everybody in the United States is not going to be happy. So um, choose wisely. Vote November the eighth, man, and um, we just gonna keep it moving. I think it's the eighth. <laughs> Anyway, whenever voting come up, man, y'all vote, man. But uh, I am Dramatic Gamble, man. Y'all can catch me on the web. Uh, I just joined Snapchat. Um, haven't posted nothing on it as of, as of yet, but um, I'm on Snapchat as Dramatic Gamble. Instagram as Dramatic Gamble. YouTube as Dramatic Gamble. Follow my YouTube page. Follow me on Facebook at Dramatic Gamble. Um, any other site that y'all can think of, man. Y'all want to see what I got going on, man, with the, um, with the music, with the uh, film. You know, anything dealing with business, man, that's where y'all can follow me at, at Dramatic Gamble, man. So, um, until next time, I'm out. Yeah. Peace. Now they gotta show they free papers before they go by their way. It ain't just talking black or white. We races against our own kind, light versus dark skin. We races up in our own mind, so many brainwashed. But the made us this way, not an angle built up inside us. Get home by the KKK and hate your own kind, really. This ain't the way to act. Let me ask a question. What makes you ashamed of being black? I'm riding around and I'm pissed Just really thinking about this On my Black Panther shit Pumping my fist And I know this just TV But I think about this How come everybody love Raymond But everybody hate Chris I see this world is a jungle I'm surrounded by villains Nothing but killing goes on In the city I live in Murder tragedies Robberies assault and battery Greed and jealousy Causing my people to never be free This world is a jungle I'm surrounded by villains Nothing but killing goes on. In the city I live in murder tragedies, robberies, assault and battery, greed and jealousy, causing my people to never be free. I come here tonight and plead with you. Believe in yourself and believe that you're somebody. Don't let anybody take your man. Be proud of our heritage. As somebody said earlier tonight, we don't have anything to be ashamed of. They made everything black, ugly, and evil. Look in your dictionary and see the synonyms of the word black. It's always something degrading and low and sinister. Look at the word white, it's always something pure. But I want to get the language right. And I want to get the language so right that everybody here will cry out, Yes, I'm black, I'm proud of it, I'm black and beautiful.